feeding accounts for about 80 percent cost of production in farm so if you can minimize feed and its wastage then your profit will seldom will definitely increase what's up my people welcome to my youtube channel life of a farmer loaf where we discuss farming in details i remain your uncle ishokri of okironi you can call me ovarons and if you are new here please consider hitting the subscribe button at no extra cost to you click the bell icon also so that you'll be first to get notification whenever i upload a new video also like share and drop your comments in the comment section please do this so that others can benefit and this will help me to grow my channel i also appreciate all my existing subscribers god bless you today i want to discuss about ways you can reduce feed wastage in broiler production since the cost of feed accounts for about 80 percent of the total cost of production and if these steps are followed your cost of production feeding per se will only reduce but you will see significant increase in your profit margin so ensure to stay till the end because all points are very important the first point is the feeding level and time of feeding as we all know boilers are fed at libiton in order to meet up their energy needs to achieve their targeted weight in a very short period of time so when feeding your boilers the best approach if you are using tray or trough feeders is to never fill the feeders to the brain it should be at such a level whereby the beds won't scratch them thereby falling off to the litter or floor then if you are using trough feeders you should you should fill it to a little bit below the middle from the start till the end of the trough feeders just maintain this level so that the feed will not be spilled on the floor then for tray feeders which is uh, mostly used for chicks it should be spread evenly and less than an inch of thickness because as these best they are eating they tend to stand to scratch the feed and scatter them with their feet alongside with their beak also so if this method is followed you discover that the total wastage of feed that are left on the floor which mixed with the litters will be minimized then when we talk about timing time of feeding has been when you feed your boilers though boilers um, are fed at libitum but giving them one hour break for them to rest after they've consumed first badge of feed that you administered has been found to be very good for the beds as this help them to improve the feed utilization the second point i want to talk about is rodent control and beds rodents in poultry farm are another source of common problem affecting feed wastage a rat that is weighing about 250 grams can eat its own weight in a day and if you do the calculation we are talking about 90 kg per rat per year so you see that this is a huge feed that is being wasted so if you have a farm with about five uh, let me say 50 rats as a population you are likely to lose tons of feed each year unknown to you this is outside the wastage or the spilled ones on the ground which you and i know that the rat um, might have pooped on or might have urinated on and you wouldn't want to pack those um those feed and give to your best for fear of contamination with their um, urine or stool and same lies with beds that do fly in same lies with bed that do fly in to feed with the beds with the boilers so effective control of these rodents and beds will reduce feed wastage and also source of infection to your base thereby increasing your reducing your cost of production and also increasing your profits then another um, important aspect is feed spoilage and mold growth this boils down to storage pattern and um, and the farm management on this aspect now feed are supposed to be dry all through but when they tend to grow mold as a result of where they have been stored or as a result of um, the feed ingredients which were not properly dried it becomes a major challenge and this mold this uh, mold when fed to our bears could um, cause serious problem thereby um, causing us to to spend more money on drugs so we should make sure 
that the feed has properly stored in a dried location and also the feed materials or feed ingredients uh, may, uh, meet the, the required standard or their dry matter content is reduced and this will prolong the shelf life of your feed please i believe you are getting important information from this video just do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button tap the bell icon so that you get notification anytime i upload a video like share and drop your comments in the comment section please do this to help me grow my channel and god will richly bless you the fourth um, aspect i'm going to talk about is disease control it has been estimated that feed efficiency decreases by 25 percent 18 percent and 10 percent in beds infected with gomburu coccidiosis and salmonella this is also linked to nutritional or parasitic disease for this reason proper veterinary programs should be followed that your best are free from disease the last one i want to talk about is the feeders feeders this is another huge topic on its own which i tend to to expand on in my subsequent videos feeders for boilers varies on type and size the stage of a bed determines the type of feeder that you are to use for them you should know the type of feeder that you need for the beds and before you get your feeders you should know the type that will not encourage feed wastage because some of these feeders are just made such that by the time you put feed on them before the next one two hours the feed is all over the floor it is being scattered by the beds you should try to look at for those feeders that will not cause feed wastage or feed spillage on on the floor and also make sure that the feeders can hold the feed such that the beds will not waste or spill the feed on the floor with this i've come to the end of this video thank you so much for staying till the end please don't forget to subscribe like share and click the bell icon for regular updates please and please do this it won't cost you extra money but it will help me reach others and grow my channel see you in my next video peace out